TTS and recording voice. Hey there VidTuners. Now it's time to add some voice to your animations. In this video, we will show you how to add and use the text-to-speech and record your voice features that comes with VidTune, so let's get you started right away. Using text-to-speech TTS. Yes guys, VidTune comes with an inbuilt TTS function you can use to add voice to your animations. You simply have to grab the TTS icon and drop it into the audio timeline highlighted in yellow, then you go to the settings area to customize this feature. You can edit the length of your audio here by typing the times, or simply do it on the timeline here. We want to add voice to the whole project, so we need to adjust it accordingly. This function simply works by you typing the words you want the automated voice to pronounce together with your animation. You simply add all the text into the text box, click outside the text box, and it will automatically play the voice by using the default TTS option which is the one that comes on your personal computer. Is your car barely moving and making all kinds of weird sounds Bob's auto repair service as your best choice? But there is a more professional option you can use, and that is the Google TTS option. For you to use this option, you would need to provide a Google API key from a Google service called Google Cloud Text-to-Speech, and let me help you find that API key really quick. First go to cloud.google.com slash free and click on Get Started for Free. Sign in with a Google account. If you are setting up a Google Cloud Platform account for the first time, as you notice here you will be able to access all cloud platform products including the Cloud Text-to-Speech API. For signing up you will get $300 to spend on the Google Cloud Platform over the next 12 months. Google asks you to submit your credit card details for security purposes, but you won't be charged unless you manually upgrade to a paid account. To continue you will be asked to select your country check the terms of service and click on continue. Now you will need to fill out all your details here, so you can access the console once inside you will be able to preview the Google Cloud Platform in this tab on top you will see a projects list. If you have already created projects before you will be familiar with this, if your account is brand new you will need to create a new project. For this you need to add a name to your project and click on create. Once the project you have just created is selected here click on APIs and services, go down and you'll find a list of Google services ready for you to use. If your account is brand new it is highly possible you won't see the cloud text-to-speech API listed here so you should enable it. To enable the service click on Enable APIs and Services then type text and select the Cloud Text-to-Speech API option. You will see a button called Enable, click on it. For this feature billing is required so if you haven't set up your billing account a button named Enable Billing will be shown to you and also you will be guided to create your billing account if you haven't done so. Now go back to the dashboard hover over APIs and Services and click on Credentials then click on Create Credentials and click on API Key. Now copy the API key you just created and save it in a text file for future use then go to Vidtune and paste the API key in the Google API key label of the application and check on the Use Google TTS option. Then you will see a bigger list of voiceover options yes guys here you have a huge list of options in a lot of different languages if you are looking for us English that one is identified by ENUS and that should be it, the new voice should be played automatically. Awesome guys, this is looking really good don't you think? But we're not done yet here let us show you how to use the record feature. Using record. Maybe you want people to hear your voice or maybe you just want that your animation sounds with a voice from a real person, Vidtune have you covered on that too. Vidtune has created the option for you to record your own voice. If you want to record your own voice you should first delete the audio you already have in the timeline and simply grab the microphone icon and add it into the audio track of the timeline and in settings you will be able to start record stop record play record or delete record. So for recording your own voice click on start record. Start talking. Stop the record once you are done. Play the record to hear how it sounds. If you lack professional equipment to record your own voice then I would also like to show you another cool trick you can do for adding a professional voice over from a real person for your animations, but I will cover this trick in the music's video tutorial. Remember to always be saving your work every time you do an important progress in your animation project, and that's about it with the TTS record features.